Hello? Hi. Um. All right. Let's see here. Uh, gonna try to wrap this up. Um. So you have to get the bad ending in this game before you can get the good one. how this goes. Um... Gunvolt, you hit the island head-on and draw Super Rocket's fire. While they are occupied, we'll sneak in and hack the controls for battle. Once we command the space elevator, we can send you up to the orbital station. The mission designation will be Operation Muzak. Ha! <laughs> nice one. Funny how we're rescuing the girl we tried to kill less than a year ago. The parameters have changed. And Gunvolt needs to finish what he's done.
That's got it. Yeah, I got another one this time, but uh, spikes. <laughs> spikes are out of the problem. Need a lower refresher on this game? <laughs> Whoops. 
sure how many people saw the first part. Yeah, so this is uh, Azure Strike with Gunfolk. Uh, it's uh, integrates this attempt to kind of do a spiritual successor to the Mega Man Zero series that they did at Capcom. It has its own unique mechanics to it. I have to actually tag enemies, and then I can hit them with my uh, electricity powers, basically. But uh, the premise of the game is that uh, um, there's a power shortage, energy shortage. Um, fossil fields have run out. Um, around the same time, we start getting these mutants with special powers called uh, Adepts. And an energy company called uh, Sumeragi Corp uh, develops a machine called a Septima. To, that allows them to tap into the towers. So they start kidnapping adepts, experimenting on them, uh, forcing them to be used as basically power batteries. They have uh, um, adepts in their service as sort of hunter killers. Their CEO is, is um, an adept. Sort of buys them the idea they're necessary to control uh, humanity. <sighs> Couldn't you have stayed home and watched videos of cats or something? Where's Jewel? Don't make me ask twice. Eh, I thought brought her to permanent. Otherwise, she's in outer space, man. Look, here's how it is. Nova's a pretty alright dude for bringing me back from the dead. So as much as I'd rather be vegging out, I kind of owe it to him to kill you now. That's got him. Hey, Dunder Punch. So yeah, basically the uh, Sumeragi Corp is trying to rule the world with the Adepts. Um, uh, so there's a resistance that started against them, run by a guy named Asimov. Uh, he rescued our main character, Gunvolt, from one of their labs. Uh, so he worked for this terrorist organization that was trying to fight the... Uh, Sumeragi Corp that left after they told him they were going to kill this young girl who was one of their uh, lab animals, basically. Uh, he takes freelance jobs to take down Sumeragi, and then uh, the girl gets kidnapped again, so we're going after her. Nah, no, didn't get anything good.
Uh, okay, hold on one second. Is that better? Nice work, Gunvolt. I see you've reached the space elevator. Yeah, we control Babel now. Now help a bard and go save Jewel. Remember, we control where the elevator goes, but not the building. Double check your gear and be ready for anything. Yeah, I'll take it under advisement. So we already fought most of their adept enforcers, but they've been resurrected mysteriously, so we're going to have to find out why. Good luck, Jeeves. Uh, you get Jewel out of there, you hear? I mean, I'd do it myself, but uh, I like you too much to steal the spotlight. Nah, no, thanks, Zeno. You're all mad. Asimov, do you read? Still nothing. Where the heck did he go? Yeah, the boss probably snuck under the elevator to one-up my boy here. Or maybe he's waiting for the right moment to jump in and save Jesus' bacon. That's what I would do. Yeah, and you and Asimov are about as alike as a poodle and a potato. Yeah, I really do crisp grown, not like oh, zip. Uh, wire with silent. I reached critical altitude. Of course, I was worried about Asimov, but I had to press on. Jewel needed me. All right, down to business. <laughs> Going somewhere? I don't think so. Stratos wants a bite. Stratos wants a fight! Stratos controls bees, basically. Bees, mites, whatever. Yeah. Alright, that's one down. So this is the boss, boss rush part. We gotta get through a bunch of them on this elevator in a row. That. Boss rush. Well, I'm glad that's over. <coughs> Such arrogance! I decide when it's over, Gunvolt. This is Jota. He's well. Here's my game. 
よ。There's a way to dodge that, I don't know what it is. Alright, I think they give us one more on this elevator and then we fight the rest of them on the next stage. Yeah, Viper's the last one here. Hey, we're just getting started with you, Gunvolt! It's my turn to burn now! Was that supposed to be hell you sent me through? I'd sent you thought it'd be warmer. Jewel is mine, Shockwad. You can't have her. No, come get toast. Oh, that's got him. All right, that was close. All right, so we've beaten the orbital elevator. We're in space now. I don't know if I'm going to be able to do this next fight, though. <laughs> I don't have much left. I... <laughs> Who's there? <laughs> you must be Gunvolt! Elise, I knew you were behind this. Who else has the power to resurrect an adept? That's right. I vivified those gacking sacks of meat. <laughs> Just like this. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. So you were hiding a third personality. Ding, ding, ding. Correct. And this one's an animal. A vicious beast who listens to no one. Sumeragi needed a powerful blade to suppress her. But you killed us. You weakened the blade. That was our chance to set her loose. To keep ourselves alive. 
It was worth plaguing the world with this wretch if it meant living again. <laughs> Let's go for a tumble. You'll be on top and you'll be in pieces. Okay. Oh, I got an anthem. Okay, that's interesting. I didn't think we could get the anthem while, uh... Alright, so I'm invincible right now. Yeah, she can turn you to stone. Alright, so I have to get her to do the resurrection a couple times. Come on, get out of stone. Yeah. You have to kill both of them around the same time. Yeah, it is quite a tongue on the third one. Am I? Oh, I can't move. Okay. Ah! Yeah. All right. <laughs> Give it up! You'll never destroy me. Resurrect. Die. Abomination. All right. This is Kofin. He's um, a human who hates the adepts. His father was killed by one, and I guess he worked. His father worked for Sumeragi and helped develop the uh, the glaives, the uh, the Septima. So now he makes all this weaponry that kills adepts, Coven. And so, in the succubus degree, I choose my weapon. That the power to take always trumps the desire to have. She deserved her punishment. Quite God. Just as you merit yours as your striker. Come and meet your end. Sumeraki has finally laid its machinations bare. The Muse Project? I spit on their venture. I'll strike their little canary down myself. Look, we should work together. I'll help you take Sumeragi down, but you have to leave Jewel out of it. She's innocent. We're not negotiating here. I won't stop until every last atom is dead. If you want to plead, you can plead with God now. Well, I've got Anthem mode on, so I don't have to recharge at least. Yeah, 
まとえラストドップラン All right, that's got coping. Look, I don't have time for this. Jewel needs me. Whatever your deal is, you can keep both of us out of it. Father knew this would happen. You tried to warn those fools. I let them off look too strong. I can't pray for God to bring you back, but I can still pray these monsters destroy each other. And if there are any left standing at the end of this, one day I will find them. Yeah, I didn't do too good there. <laughs> Would have done much worse if I hadn't had the anthem mode turned on. All right. Gunvolt's completely off the grid now. Do you think he's up there somewhere? I hope he made it for me. Ah, you know him. He'll be back with Jewel and that bad haircut before you could say Azure Striker. Yeah, you're right. Asimov, if you're up there too, keep them safe. How's everyone doing today? Yeah, I don't know how you managed to braid that long. I don't have time to deal with ninjas. All right. This is Nova. He's CEO of Sumeragi. He's got Jewel in the capsule there, so he's trying to control her anthem mode. Jewel. Well, here we are. It was him. How could I forget that voice? Nova. I see I left an impression. But my eyes were locked on the monstrosity between us. You like it? This machine gives me full susceptible control over the news. You should ask Copen all about it. I assume you ran into him on the way up. His father laid the groundwork for our adept research. He built this machine. In fact, it's safe to say Sumeragi would have been nothing without him. Yeah, they're forcing her to uh, use the muse to sing for for them to control. It's gonna be like mind control for the uh, the adepts. A shame the dice rolled how they did. Yeah, that's nice. If you're done spewing your horse jet, let Jewel go. Oh, you're not very civil at all, are you? Maybe you need a little demonstration. <laughs> Behind him, Lumen appeared, but something was wrong. Her eyes had none of their usual mischief. She was like a robot. She looked as cold and calculating as the computer program Quill once mistook her for. What did you do? Like I said, this machine puts me in control of Receptacle. She sings only for me, now. I mean, no offense, but you basically already lost, shall we? You'll get 
Yeah, you have to keep using your, your field to disrupt the Mew, as otherwise he's invincible. You can't hit him without uh, turning her off. This is only this guy's first form, too. That's got his first form. I'm gonna have to do this again on an even harder difficulty mode in order to get the best ending, too. Ah, Sumo really, Froggy really outdid itself when it created you. I might actually have to put in some effort. Time to pull out everything I've got. Not one, but three girls for it. I, 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 sorry, I skipped the text. How strong is <laughs> Monsters, Copen had called us. In this case, he'd be right. Nova had absorbed Jeweled completely, made her a part of it. 
Was that his septum of my mind swam? I was given this godlike power because my cause is righteous. The world is a system, one that must be protected from aberrations like you. Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that all over again. Oh, I got about two-thirds of the way down. Hi, Pyrofuss! 
to me last time, huh? What's everybody's favorite X spec? This game basically deals with mutants. Oh, 
That's got him. Forge or cable? Okay. What have you done? Our system was the world's only hope. Without the muse to guide them, adepts will lose their way. They'll burn this world right to the ground. I like Nightcrawler. This, he's fun. The swashbuckler type. Wait, Jewel. Did we make it? Lumen. Yeah. Thanks to you. Sweet, bro. Ah, I think I might have used too much of my power. No matter what happens to me, promise me you'll get her out of here. I promise. Huh? What are you doing here? Here's Asimov. So he's the head of the uh, Quill, which was the organization that uh, Gunvolt used to belong to. So he rescued Gunvolt from the lab, used to direct him, give him missions. His mission was to take, you know, his goal in life is to take down Sumeragi, establish a world for the Adepts. I'm proud of you, Gunvolt. And you too, Chul. With Nova out of the way, you two are ready to rule in the age to come. What do you mean, rule? Sumeraki is in shambles. We won't get a better chance. Uh, to do what? Well, since you left Quill, I've watched you surpass my every expectation. But it's time for you to join us, Quill. You and Chul. There's a place for her, with her anthem and this satellite. I mean, can you imagine? We could wipe the human race from the planet. I founded Quill so that Adepts could live without fear. And now that day is here. We'll rise from our oppression be free at last. Come with me. No! Gunvolt! No, I've, I've heard all this before. She looked right at me, the terror in her eyes playing. Don't worry, I know. Asimov, I can't even begin to repay you for all you've done for me. You saved me from Sumeragi's lab and you basically raised me. I'd do almost anything for you, but not this. If this is your idea of making the world better, then you're no different from Nova or Copeland. I don't want your freedom if it means Jewel loses hers. Sorry. Well, that's okay. Never hurts to ask, right? Now he's got Copeland's gun. We'll do it this way instead. My blood froze. The weapon in his hand. That's Copeland's gun. Oh, you like the little souvenir I picked up on the way up? That primate actually managed to graze me. Imagine my surprise. Turned out these bullets could neutralize septimal powers. Call it a dose of mortality. Goodbye, Gunvolt. I felt a surge of heat, and first my chest, and then running down my skin. Then the air touched it, and everything started to go cold. Ah, no! Gunvolt! You're next. Even as darkness worked to clamp my eyes shut, I saw the, her crumple to the floor. It was all over. I'd failed her, and now I would never, ever, for human, cope and make some dangerous toys. All the more reason to snuff out his species as soon as possible. It'd be it had been easy with Gunvolt and Jewel. What plans can be rewritten? Alright, so that's the bad ending.
Huh? Jewel? Where'd you... Oh, I must have been dreaming. Maybe you are now. Maybe you were before. But whether you've walked into a dream or out of some terrible phantasmagoria, you'll never know, will you? Seriously, bro. We've got all what put the fantasy in one in reality. If you don't know where you are, all you can do is keep going. There's no sidestepping fate, real or imagined, but you can walk toward it armed with hope. Maybe you've already found a little bit of it, or maybe you haven't. But if you ever do think you found a little hope, I hope you'll share it with me. Alright, so we talk to her now. Hey, Jewel, I've got something for you. I took out the jewel I found and gave it to her. Hey, Jewel! How should I read into this? Ha ha, you're welcome. I'm kidding, it's really nice, thank you. Jewel produced a necklace with the seven jewels in it. You made this? Yeah, I didn't want your presence to go to waste. And it feels nice to do something for you for a change, yeah? That's great, thanks, Jewel. I'll keep it close. Okay. So we gotta give up the prevasion chain that lets us basically block shots. So this makes it a lot harder to survive. But having the handmade necklace uh, will let us get the good ending. I don't know how you're supposed to figure that out, but yeah, <laughs> I had to look it up on the internet to to, to learn that. I was like, "Wow, that's a downer ending." There's got to be a better a better way, right? We'll see you later, Adam. Alright, we know your shit. Come on. Get out of here. 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 Get out of
This is what's going to be the problem. We're heading for the good ending, folks, I think. What? Ah, yeah, we saw this before. Okay. Alright, so we're wearing the, the necklace. It turns out this is going to uh, actually block the bullet that uh, Asimov is going to shoot us with. Because she gave us this uh, lovely little keepsake. It'll still paralyze us, but... How do I describe what happened next? Asimov had shot Gunvolt, then me. Uh, I should have been dead. But I felt more alive than ever. 
An ocean of electronics, of electrons and sound washed over me. I was one with everything. It wasn't until later that I understood. What happened to me? My body? The muse was an extension of my septimal energy. Asimov hadn't bothered to use Copen's suppressor on me. So when he shot me, my septima did the logical thing. It escaped. Gunvolt, where are you? My mind and lumens had become one. And as I searched for Gunvolt, I realized just how powerful my muse really was. The whole world was a sea of electrons and sound, unclouded by human touch. There! He's still alive, but only barely. A slender thread held him to this world. How did he survive the gunshot? I swam closer, deeper, and ran invisible fingers over his body and found the wound. A grotesque mess of metal had clawed into his skin. Wait, this is... Wrapped around the bullet like a tiny glove was a broken pendant. It was from the necklace I had made for him. He had chosen my gift over his quill-issued gear, even though it gave him no tactical advantage whatsoever. And it had saved his life. In that moment, I realized this boy had come to save me was just as fragile as I was. He didn't fight for me because I needed him. It was him who needed me. I have to hurry. He was still dying. The pendant had stopped the bullet from reaching his heart, but without treatment, he would bleed to death. There is a way. My septum had been cut loose without a body. I would die too. There was only one place left for me to go, and I wanted to be there. I wrapped my ethereal arms around him and waiting for him to respond. I'm a part of you now, and you can be a part of me. A moment later, I was flooding into his biocurrent, and we became we saw each other for the first time. We made it, Gunvolt. We're at the top of the world. Now it's my turn to be your compass. I'm alive, but how? Oh my god. So Jewel is dead, but she's still a ghost that lives as part of Gunvolt. <laughs> I don't know how else to describe what's going on. A voice echoed through my head. Lumen! No! It sounded like Lumen at first, but this was... Jewel, where are you? Close. I'll never be apart from you again. Her memories poured into me, and I really saw her for the first time. My whole body surged with septimal power, more than I'd ever know. What had she done to save me? In my arms, her body grew light, and then it wasn't there at all. I'll always be with you, and I'll be right here to keep you safe. Jewel, please. But the voice in my head cut me off the whisper. Dry your eyes, Venmol. Think about what you need to do. Asimov. He was going to kill a lot of people, and I had to stop him. Too many people had gotten hurt already. Are you ready? Then let my anthem guide you. Nobody else was touched by that? I thought it was pretty neat. Alright, so if anyone was wondering what happened to Carrera, here he is. We meet again, Gunvolt. Back from the dead, Carrera. You're a little late for the party. Forsooth, death could only prolong my vengeance for so long. How I have longed to engage thee in another vigorous round of fisticuffs. And yet thou too art changed, like a demon. Thou standeth before me. That calamitous septimal power that courses now through thy humors. <laughs> yea, verily, I shall enjoy this victory. Like all things will be mine. Oh, 
Silly magnetic man, you are no match. Now we get to fight uh, Asimov. You're still alive. Neat trick. I can't let you do this, Asimov. We won't let you. Huh. So that's what happened to her. What a way to start, Volt. You were supposed to lead us into a new era with power like that. Well, maybe you should have asked me first. I took a wrong turn to somewhere, and I'm sorry for that. But you've made your position clear. I'm on one side of this line. Or on the other. <laughs> you see, you're not the only Azure Striker. You were just the strongest until now. So he's going to keep trying to hit us with Copeland's gun. Oop, that was not what I wanted to do. Oh well. Yeah, every time he hits us with that, it stops our stops me from recharging my power. Because that's what he's using Copen's weapons against us. Damn it! 
<laughs> ah. Got him. There we go. I guess this was to be expected. But it's not too late to become a leader. Guide us in the days to come. Yeah, no gacking, thanks. You paid for what you did to Jewel, and now my work is done. You really are stubborn, aren't you? <coughs> but you can't stop adepts from rising up. Whether you fight for us or against us, as long as you wield that kind of power, you'll have to fight for something. I don't hate you. I just wish I'd done better, boy. The future's in your hands. Meanwhile, at the bottom of Babel, Zeno and Monica were waiting for their comrades to return. They could hear the hum of the elevator approaching, and then the doors opened. Hey, Jeeves, you're... What? Oh my god, no! Asimov! The boss man, is he dead? Monica looked to Gunvolt for a denial. Some sign things would be okay. But Gunvolt said nothing. His eyes were as cold as Asimov's. Oh, I can't... Asimov! Tears streamed down her cheeks as she crumpled to the floor. Without another look, Gunvolt started to move towards the door. Hey, Jeeves, what gives? Where's Gun Jewel? You, you think you can walk out of here without telling us what the gag is going on? Don't touch him. The invisible force knocked Zeno's hand away, and the battle had left Gunvolt wounded, heartbroken, and alone. His Aegis, Jewel, was the only strong part of him left. As the night drew to a close, the last Azure Striker was as quiet and unreadable as a desert. Zeno watched him go. Again, Gunvolt's muse spoke to him. We can go anywhere, you know. It's just us now. All I want. Zeno strained to hear what he said, but Gunvolt was out of his earshot. Helplessly, he stood there as his friend vanished into the distance. And was swallowed by the uncertain light of the rising sun. Oh, thank you. Alright, I guess that's it for tonight. Um, tomorrow I'm going to be playing Shantae on the GVC. Um, 
I will see you guys then. Um, well, thanks for watching.